Hey, welcome back to the channel. My name is Kyle Martin and it is a balmy 45 degrees today, which means that the temperatures have risen 60 or 70 degrees since last week. And we are out here on Terrytown Road for a little plein air painting adventure. Work is done for the day, and as I was driving home, the scene right behind me of these couple barns and this tractor caught my attention, and I decided to pull the car over and do a little plein air painting this afternoon. There's maybe an hour, hour and a half left of light for the day. Uh, behind me is a beautiful view of the Baraboo Bluffs, and I love painting out here on Terrytown Road because we've got barns when you look one direction, we've got bluffs when you look in the other direction. Any of those views is very paintable. I'm gonna be doing a lot of simplifying, but I think I have some nice big shapes to work with this afternoon. For instance, the shapes of those barns are gonna be placed large on my canvas, and I'm gonna be working with big brushes this afternoon. Thanks so much for being along for the ride today, and let's do a little plein air painting. I've mixed some colors to get started with today. This is the color of the snow that's on the ground. Uh, the sky is a little bit darker than the snow, so this is gonna be the color that I'm gonna start with for the sky. This is the color of the roof of the barn. This is the color that's gonna be for those weathered barn boards. This is the red of the tractor. This is the background tree line, and here we have a darker red that's for under the eaves of the barn. And finally, this, this darkest dark that I have mixed is gonna be for the tire of that tractor. The next thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start to sketch the barns onto the panel. Oh, it's Mr. Martin, all right, we'll let you paint. Catch you later. A couple of my students are checking it out. That's always fun. All right, that's a wrap on this painting, and I don't know if you can tell, but right behind me, there's some action happening in the sky. Uh, let's take a look at the painting. A nice evening of painting today. Yesterday I was out and I was working on a painting in Reedsburg, and things just didn't really work out that well for me. There's always the chance that things aren't gonna work out in your favor when you're plein air painting. But there's so many things that are outside of our control just because we are working outdoors. And yesterday, I, I think that the thing that worked against me was that my shapes were not big, easily seen shapes. And so I used my bad painting session yesterday to motivate me 
and it made me want to come out and do something that was a little more worthwhile. What that meant was that I had to take things back to basics. I had to use nice big shapes. The barns are big on the panel. That for me is something that is easier to do than working with a lot of little broken up shapes. Of course, I love those beautiful sunshiny days. Actually, nothing sounds better to me than a beautiful spring day, sunny day in the spring or summer or fall. But here we are, it's late February. When those better weather days come around, we're gonna be ready. But this evening, I'm, I'm wrapping up. We'll catch you in the next one. I see the moon is up right behind me. Up next, we're gonna head up into the studio and we're gonna work on a studio painting of some hay bales that are being lit up by some late light. Check out the light on the barn right behind me. All right, let's head up into the studio and get started on this little hay bales painting. I'm painting this field of hay bales. It was two summers ago on July 4th, Corbin and I were watching the fireworks at my mom's house. And for some reason we decided to walk across the street and just go for a little walk. And we came across this hay field and it was just at the sunset time. The light was perfect. Right now I'm kind of reliving that afternoon and making a little painting of that day. I'm just finishing up here today. Just kind of a nice and easy studio session this morning. This is the painting. See, I got this nice foreground hay bale and then some in the middle ground. Got a little barn going back in space. Some trees that are being transformed by the late day sun. We didn't make the round bales when I was a kid. We made the little square bales that you had to stack on a wagon and this this painting i can almost smell the fresh cut hay i'm going to clean my things up and finish up in the studio
We're just finishing up our walk for the evening and the moon. And right at the end of the walk, just down that field road a couple of minutes ago, I noticed that the dogs kind of tensed up and became very alert. And then a second later that bald eagle just swooped in and flew overhead and off went the dogs chasing the bald eagle. When the bald eagle arrived back at the nest, he kind of called out and it was beautiful to hear his call. As the sun set, he was just headed home for the evening. Maybe he was hunting. Maybe he was just out for a joy ride. We're gonna end the video here. Thanks so much for sticking with me. Uh, we're gonna have a couple more minutes. We're gonna check out a skateboarding session from last week. I was lucky enough to get invited to a indoor skateboard spot that's around my area. The skaters are figuring out ways to do it in the winter time as well. Let's take it from there. We got a little bit of skateboarding to end the video up today. Thanks so much for sticking with me. We'll see you next week. I'm ready to head in the house. Have a good night. hear that some of you guys are enjoying the skateboarding footage. I've been filming skateboarding for 20 years. I love to skateboard and it's cool to be able to film skateboarding and just to enjoy it that way as well. There's pink clouds everywhere. There's bald eagles flying around. The moon is rising. <laughs>